well, he was only 17 and his brother was 18. And uh, they, well, first of all, you know, the, the, the rising was stopped by Owen McNeil, or they thought, that they, they thought it wouldn't go ahead. And they had gone up the mountains because it's around Easter. And uh, when they came down, they found that the rising had started. So they went home, and the next morning they sneaked out very early. And they should have been in Boland's Mills, but uh, they couldn't get there. So they knocked on the GPO and they were let in. So they were there and were given guns and things. I think Noel was sent across the Imperial Hotel that was opposite. And uh, they were there for the week. And then when, after the surrender, uh, where a lot of people were killed going up on Penny Street, anyway, they escaped that way and they were brought. They were brought to a barracks, sorry, my not right. And um, they, uh, because they were so young, an RIC man that kind of knew them, was that those two in the masses said they're only children, send them home. So they got sent home. <laughs> but after that, then they were active in the War of Independence and then the Civil War, they were in um, the Republican side. And then I said, probably have. Um, and now that Noel was killed at, just at the end of that, and he was, his body was cut up and all sorts of things. But my father was a very, um, he, he never held any grudge against anybody, and he, he just trained himself not to get annoyed over, or to forget what happened in the Civil War and carry on.